All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome back to the stream. Um, yes. I should be playing hockey right now. But instead, I'm sitting next to Nicole. Which is pretty awesome. Life sucks. HQ champion. Yeah. So um, I was streaming earlier today, and I got off to go play my hockey game, and me and Nicole got in the car. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, so I wouldn't eat too much. And uh, get in the car, start driving. Like, you know what? I should text my teammate, my captain or whatever, to make sure the game's at 8, not at 9. I text him and he's just like, oh yeah, there's no game tonight, it's a bye week. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Yeah. Turn around, drive home. And what are we going to do with our evening? Well, we're playing regionals this weekend. And we yeah. means me and Nicole. Yes. Nicole and I. I have an English degree. Um, and Nicole, what are you going to play at regionals? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I mean Tron. Right. <laughs> so... Nicole's played a lot of Tron in the past. Nicole doesn't get to play as much as she used to, unfortunately. Um, well, but either Tron or Burn, so. It was our Tron or Nicole's two decks. Definitely those, Tron over Burn. Those are my two modern decks. So um, we're going to rock some For Tron now. and get get Nicole uh, back in game shape here. Nicole hasn't played a tournament in how long? Probably since we teamed. Like, we did two at a giant or bolts. whatever. That's in November? We two at a giant, right? Yeah, I mean, don't count to it a giant, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so, okay, so your, your last event was the team tournament in Baltimore last year. Yes. Yeah. And me and Nicole and my buddy Jay teamed. Nicole was yeah. our modern seat playing Tron. I don't get to play very you often. well. You went like 6-3, right? Six yeah, three, it's something like yeah. that. So, uh, Jay had a rough one. But anyway, yeah. so um, we're going to play some Tron and just kind of refresh, refresh Nicole up here a little bit. I'm still playing uh, Green Black Tron. It's obviously my list. Hi, Goober. Nicole has the distinct advantage of um, getting access to all my spicy deck lists. Whatever she wants. Yeah. But, um, so we're playing Green Black Tron. I still prefer Black over the Mono Green. I think Push is an important card to have, and the Black Cyborg cards are great in Thoughtseize and Collective Brutality. And, uh, all the usual suspects. We're gonna go battle. Let's go. What's yeah. up, Van? What's up, Goober? I don't like Eldrazi Tron. I think it's terrible. It's got no plan. Too soon. Focus, focuses, uh, too much on, on just having good, lucky hands. I don't like that. It's also pretty bad against humans. Whereas I think Green Black Tron is pretty good against humans. Between Oblivion Stone, Ugin, uh, and even and, the pushes and things. Yep. You know. Tron time. It is Tron time. I'm excited. What's up, Nazgad? Folks just tuning in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yay, me! I'm here. So, uh, I got invited. If you didn't see the tweet earlier today, um, I had a coaching session, and Nicole comes in rudely and takes my phone. To play HQ. HQ is a trivia game. It's actually going to be on in about 15 minutes. Hopefully, we finish this first match fast and we'll play HQ. Yeah. Um, and Nicole Crash comes over. back, interrupting my session again, to say that she won. HQ is pretty hard to win. Um, me and Nicole have been playing for a while now. Nicole actually, and like usually you win like a dollar. Nicole won. I won 55 cents. And dollars on my account playing it, HQ. It was a hard one. There were like three or four savage questions today. It's, it's a really hard one. And she, um, she was playing on her phone and my phone. And on the last question, she hedged. I did. And I was Because we were, I, we both, we made it to question 12, and I had absolutely, it was like, what the author of which novel had attempted a singing career, like, with, like, children singing songs or something like that. And it was like, the three, it was like, Gone Girl, Da Vinci Code, like, X. And I'm like, well, I only know the author to, like, one of these, and I don't know any about any sort of, uh... Well, Tuts. Singing career, so I hedged. Which welcome, was the right thing to do. Obviously. Welcome back to Tron. Welcome back to there Tron. There you go. Let's mulligan. Let's mulligan. Nicole's going to be mostly driving. I'm, I'm on the controls. So I keep an eye on the stream and stuff, but Nicole will be telling us what to do, and then occasionally I'll tell her she's wrong. <laughs> now it's got to the tattoo of your face. For, I mean, didn't Wait, Steve what? already get your face tattooed on his back? Yeah, I don't know why Steve -O got my face on his back, but. Alright, so we're gonna mulligan. How about this uh, one? I think this is also a mulligan. Say it louder and more confidently and clearly, alright? Uh, I'm, I'm disgusted by it. I agree. Keep. Yeah, this is a pretty good five. That's why. <laughs> Top. Can't stop, won't stop. Tron's deck the mulligans very well. So. All right, so what's going on here? I'll get your face on my calf. That's like visible all the time. Let's focus on playing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
So what's, what's our what's our point applying? That's weird. Inquisition. What's our point applying here? Uh. Nothing. The black red. Yes, they're playing a black red. Like we got that. Deck. They're playing Marty Pyromancer. Pyromancer. I was going to ask if it was Pyromancer, but I don't know. Funny I really how you was. said it right after I said I it. I was going to ask. You didn't give me a second. You didn't. I gave you plenty of time. No, you didn't. All right, so yes, they're playing Pyromancer. It's a breaking matchup for us. The only, only deck that plays looting, Inquisition, Inquisition, and Blood Moon. They usually only have one Blood Moon, though. So That's hopefully. great. All right, so we draw. I hope so. What's our play? What's up, Scotty? Uh, start by Cracking the Sphere for green. Pawn says, more Tron. Ugh. Modern's the worst sometimes. Yeah, well. They're Team Rocket, for goodness sake. Right, so They're the bad guys. For green. Um, play Urza's Tower and play Sylvan's Crying. I can't... Uh, incoming Salt. <laughs> Modern is the worst sometimes. What's our opponent going to say about this one, you think? Nice nine-star deck. Begin the cursing. Wait for it. Opponent says Blood Moon. Dang, they play they play more than one. Playing more than one. That's probably why. And they're discard. complaining. Honestly, that's probably why they discarded the other one. Why would you? And you're complaining? Wow. What a rude opponent. You know, like more Tron. Blah 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 blah. Still play Sphere. And At least we still have a color. Now what? What do you mean? Now what's to go? You crack Sphere. That's our only. I agree. Uh, yeah, I don't crack sphere. What's up, weird cards? I feel like there's no reason to. We made our land drop. They have a revel or two? No, looting. Sure. Yeah, wah! More Tron! I just have a, I have a second blood moon. Wah! They discarded Lingering Souls, Bedlam Reveler. That's probably bad for us. Okay. Okay, so yeah, crack. Cast the rings. Oh, <laughs> take that relic. Oh, it's so sweet. Justice. Bombs away. Yep. Nice graveyard. Nice bedlam reveler in hand, opponent. I mean, they can almost just cast it. Almost. Well, we're almost to casting our worm coil. That's right. Which is better than that. Because we're great. Um, I think I think we still just slam Worm Coil. I agree. Like, what are they gonna? So they're gonna play four or five or whatever, and like get to discard and draw or whatever. No, I, I, yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't think. I think that there's pause for a second because we're pretty sure they have a uh, a reveler in their hand. Yeah. They want to make sure that we can keep it in in check, but I think just slamming the. Worm coils to speak of a devil. So now what? Sure. Um, I would start by attacking. So, how do you. That th almost makes me feel like they definitely have a reveler in hand, I, I which makes me want to play. The, I mean, I, w I was going to play the relic here anyway. I thought we were going to play relic into worm coil, but maybe. Well, think about it. So, reveler costs eight. Yeah. Right now it costs. Six. Yeah. So, I mean, we could still play Relic, remove a thing from their graveyard, and play the Worm Coil. I agree. That, well, that's what I was going to, wanted to do originally. I guess it didn't matter what order you did it in. Right. So, but, so, but I think that, like, just immediately but I think that deducing why, why they killed one over the other there is very important, sure. which is correct. So, I think that we were, I was, like, 90% sure they had a Reveler, and now I'm, like, 95% sure they have one. Sure. Based on their bold there, so. Do they play Anglers? No. Or anything? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it's a deck that wasn't really popular when you were playing. Yeah. Uh, it's just like a black red gun. I've seen a couple. It's like, it's like black red gun basically. It's sure. um, four young pyromancer, four lingering souls, four bedlam revelers, and then just like a bunch of thought seizes, inquisitions, fatal pushes, dread boars. They only play for the back end of lingering souls, I guess. They have like one or two white dual ends. Okay. That's it though. <laughs> sure. That's that's whatever. We were, cast. yeah, we, were, we were casting that anyway. Four, five, six, seven. We're at seven lands right now. Right, so that was that was a dream. So now what? Was to do that. Um, start. Start by attacking. I think so. Um, 
I, I just remove a card from the graveyard and say go. They have to kill at least two of our things next turn, or right? Three, four, five. You yeah, think there's not. I mean, like, there's no reason. To we pop. pop and draw a card here. We have six mana available. What are we gonna? Cast? We could draw one more worm coil. We could draw a ballista. Sure. That's basically it. Like, we draw like an O stone. Too, I don't. I don't but. think it's worth it. I think if anything, it's something that we're gonna play right now, so we can just do it now or at the end. Yeah, of the I'm turn. fine waiting, and then they bolt something or whatever. You know, they're looting. So this is. So I mean, you talked to me. You, you're, you're you're playing. Okay, it. so this is they discard two, so that puts three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is exactly eight for their thing, but they can only block if they play Reveler. They're totally tapped out, and they just die, don't they? So the fear is, I think the fear is that they draw a lightning bolt or a push. Oh, sure. Because that, that's, ma that's mana neutral with Reveler. Sure. So they have two cards in hand. If they end up with a Reveler and a push, they can push one and play Reveler. Um, okay. So it's a pretty interesting spot here because we can, if we exile Relic right now, yes, they probably can't cast Reveler this turn, which is yes. huge. But they could discard a Lingering Souls. Yes. So, which is also not that bad. It's it's a pretty weird spot, honestly. Um. However, if they do have, if, <laughs> if they do draw their their Boulder push and kill our Bolts, it's my fault. Our Death Toucher. I think we pop here. Okay, I'm gonna pop in it. It's popping and locking. Making the Reveler cost one more, I think, is worth it. And they have to draw, draw at least two removal spells now to do it. Worst case, they have Lingering Souls, and they uh, are able to do it, but... Alright, so then so the Reveler leverage dead. It's perfect. Yeah, they just die. Right. I mean, we, we, we draw stuff, which is fine. Yeah. And that blows up their blood moon. Nice blood moon. And everything. Cool. Yay. We did it. That is yeah, about I it. mean, that's the only line we don't even win right there. Like, I feel like you're just still in good shape even if something like that were to happen. I don't know. Right, yeah. So, um, sideboarding? I started doing it, I'm sorry. It's fine. We always, the Thrag Tusk against the blood moon matchups and Relic was really good. Um, What's coming up? Um... I feel like Ballista might come out. Ballista, uh, no? Why, why, why Ballista? I mean, usually Ballista uses like a small, like a, anything that can like ping little... I guess, oh wait, they have Pyromancers, mm -hmm. right? Do they keep their Pyromancers in? I guess that's their way to kill us. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the deck does against us, like... And I'm, I meant like defensively, I guess. Um, I feel like World Breaker stays in, Wormfoil Engine's good. I don't know. One of the Ulamogs? No. You're not shaving an Ulamog? So we're, we're cutting push for sure. Oh, okay. Because there's nothing good to push. It's a Pyromancer. That's not even worth it. Oh, because that's actually, that's why I thought that push was like fine because yeah. of Pyromancer. No, it's just not worth it. Okay. Um, and then we got to cut one more card. Um, like, Ugin seems fine, especially against like Blood Moon and stuff. Yeah, I think, I mean, I, I think cutting Ulamog is fine. I, I feel like it's an Ulamog or an Ugin, maybe. I think, yeah, I think Ugin's better. It's more, it's more castable, too. So sure. This is fine. I'm cool with this. All right, we got a new sub. Yay, new sub. We got... Uh, Jacoby. Jacoby. Jacoby, what's your name? Where are you from? Um, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite car of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? And your puppy name, please. So I remain. Read... Jim's You're here tonight. Article. I'm over here. All right. Cyberman was asking. We haven't been faster. You play his cube. Uh, I don't know. This is hard. Like, I want to keep it. It says two Tron pieces, but we have no colored source. I guess I have to keep on the draw. Oh, hey. yeah, the draw shark. I keep Got that okay, raid keep. back. Oh, snap. MTG Goldfish raiding back. What's up? That, thank you. What's up, Saffron? I appreciate that. Much Wasn't planning on getting back on, but my hockey game was canceled, so here we are. All right, so keep on the yeah. draw and, and I think we're going to keep, because I think we're drawing to any Greenland, any, any tr like, our tr like third draw lands, any star, any sphere, any relic. Yeah, it's a lot of hits. And, and I guess, like, thinking about it being on the draw, it's close. So, so if you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. Who's Nicole? I don't know. That's Nicole. What? 
The Yargle Raid! No! Not Yargle! Yargle. Raid. Who brought the Yargles? It's how I wouldn't shut up about Yargle all weekend. I wanted to hit him. It's non-stop Yargle, Yargle rubbins. You should have told me. I would have texted you a picture every now and again. The hockey game wasn't technically canceled. Um, <laughs> my my team captain just never told me there was no game tonight because we usually have a game every. S That's rude. Boo. We usually have a we usually have a game every Tuesday night, um, and there was no game this week, and he didn't tell me. So we were actually driving to the rink, and I'm like, you know what? I should make sure what time the game is. It's usually at eight. Maybe it's at nine. We're and right here. Witness us. We yeah. just witnessed all of you. Can I get a witness? What? What? There's people here. I know. I'm like, well, how many? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Thousands and thousands of people. All right. So they're they're just rocking off on all cylinders here, which is fine, because we're still going to beat them. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah. They wasted their shatter effects. We still have this O stone. Make some land drops and do some thing. Yeah. Uh, is that a yard going your deck, or are you just happy to see me? Now, now I feel like instead of someone's crying, you ancient stirrings. I mean, you have to whiff on a land, like you take it. Uh, no, actually, no. This, 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 Do you still scrying here? Yes. We scrying, we scrying for uh, what? For a basic forest? Yep. I mean, a snow-covered forest. That's right, that's right. As it will reflect in my deck list this weekend. And then are we, then, then what? Are we playing Soarings or Map? Uh, we are playing... We're playing Stirrings. Why Stirrings over Map? Um, there's a reason. Uh, I feel like they can either take the stirrings out of our hand if they have a discard spell, and they could also shatter a map. I guess we're happy with that, though. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's unlikely they shatter the it's shatter. It's also like a color thing. I want to just play the map. Really? Yeah. I feel like if we draw another colored... What are we stirrings for? We probably want what? Uh, um, um, Give me. I don't know. It's a land. We have, uh, yeah, we have, we have tons of gas in our hand. Sure. We just want land. All so, gas. map is a guaranteed yeah. land. Sure. Sounds cool. Thanks for following everyone. Welcome to the stream. We also got our new sub, uh, Jacoby from St. Paul. Me out here. Sweet. Oh, you played me the challenge in Lodestone. Perfect. Play Magic since the recent Eighth Revolt. Favorite card is Feldar Guardian. John is very aware that that card is banned. Thanks for watching, everyone. Skin, thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. You all are awesome. awesome. Moving, to, moving to South Carolina in, uh, well, less than two months. All right, so now we're going to, um, what, you tell me? Oh, uh. We're getting Nicole ready for our regionals this weekend. Nicole wasn't, Nicole wasn't going to play much anymore. Her last actual serious event was like a year ago. So we're getting her up, up to speed for regionals. It's a lot of viewers too. Thanks, well, Saffron, I appreciate it. Oh Thank you very gosh, much. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of viewers. Thank you, Saffron, really appreciate it. <laughs> There's 1,200 no, people no, here sure. watching you. Learn how to Tron. Got it. Um. Relearn. I, I feel like you. You start by, do you start by stirrings, or you start with your map? I mean, your stirrings because you said you're probably gonna stirrings for a land. You want to make all our land drops. Yeah, I think I want to get this map out of here as soon as possible. Sure. Um, I just crack. We just crack. I mean, map. we can do both, but. Crack map. Yeah, we're, map. we're gonna star and stirrings. Yes. And I feel like, do we get the mine yeah, we, here? We get it. Yeah, we get it. Okay. We have three. Uh, what's it called in our deck? Like disenchants. Yeah, whatever. the na nature's claims. Yeah, so. that one. No, nah, no pro tour for me. I'll be doing my pr my predictions are article you on Friday. Yeah. Fine, never pay full price for Try and draw starings. If we don't, we play. I mean, not starings. The the thing I said. I, I was gonna say it's funny because I was gonna say take the um, sanctum here just to be covered. Or do sanctum. You want... I think it's just forest. Okay. I think we we have Tron. It's another green source. Um. We just want to keep making land drops. We have plenty of sure. plenty of ma plenty of threats here. They aren't doing anything, which is cool. Yeah. So, I mean, we can. <laughs> Another stirrings. No. Start by stirrings. Thank you, everyone, for the the, the congrats on the uh, open this weekend. I appreciate it. I mean, Those I don't know, know like, if you want the other fours. Do they play other like land destruction deck? Probably things not. Like, but that, maybe you, know, like, you need to find your basic land that we want to leave a basic land in the deck. Oh, uh, like Ghost Quarter and stuff yeah, like stuff that. Yeah, like no. that. Oh, okay. No. I, I mean, like, yeah, like I'm thinking like Path Egg. Not, not. I don't. They don't pay Path, but I meant yeah. like cards. I think we're just gonna Field grab. Of ruins I think we're gonna grab Tower. Like I don't. I don't, even, I don't even need another forest. Sure. Tower Pretty sick. Uh, starting here, just yeah, hot yeah. lands, but just all yeah. all the Tron lands. I'm gonna get that. Thanks for all the follows, guys. And then, Appreciate uh, it. Love you all. Did you happen to do my donation? It was back on like Wednesday. I think you did. Skin, what was yours? 
Talk to me. And then you can. Blow I don't up. think I did. Do you blow up Ostone just for Blood Moon? Probably. We'll do it on the end of the turn. Since we have well, we'll so see. Many. We'll yeah. We're gonna we'll end the turn. Okay. We'll see. We'll, we'll sure. see what they do. They could have Cole against Commander, which which would kill our Ostone. Yeah. It's I mean, they really probably do. We just cast. We're going we'll next have turn. Us, like discard and. Like now we're just drawing any lands over the next few turns. Sure. So they destroyed that and they. Ah. Oh. Oblivion Stone and you. Two two damage. They dealt two to us rather than make us discard a card. That's reasonable. Yeah, so now we're just like... So now what? Uh, oh, skin. No, I haven't. Still, It'll be on Friday. I, I, I think I, I still slam Worm Coil Yeah, whatever. Here. And then hope we draw a land next turn and we can Karn in the turn after that. Yep, mm -hmm. I agree. There's no point even... Re and like, Ostone pops on eight anyway. Ostone pops on eight. Yeah. So like... We have six mana now. Let's play some stuff. And if we have to O-Stone because things get really out of control, we can do that too. Yes. So We board in three Nature's Claims, yes. Now they're blowing their entire load to kill our, our yeah, few worms. Yeah, to try to get rid of everything. Right, so this is I fine. have one card left in hand. Right. I mean, it's kind of sucky. I think if it's a Bedlam Reveler, does that suck? Uh, it wouldn't be great. It's definitely a possibility. Okay. Uh, all right, so... Um, well, I mean, we Sphere here because, like, if, even if we're going to Stone... It's we now really important. What do we tap for Sphere? Um, I think a forest and you crack it with a mine, though. You're going to tap? It's definitely forest. Because uh, we have black in our deck, don't we? Don't you want to mine, tap it for black? Or do, No, we got rid of the feet of pushes. Yeah, we just don't I'm sorry. So then. So the thing is that we're, we're tapping lands here, so if we blow up this blood moon, we want to make sure we have mana afterwards. If we tap yeah. tower for sphere and tap tower for green, we can't do anything. No, yeah, we're, we're so good. So we're, we're just we want to make sure we have enough green. mana to do everything. So so if we crack off a mine, we'll have three, six, seven, eight, we'll have nine mana for Ugin, which is great. So that's fine. Sure. So I'm happy to crack it off this. Okay, so now what? I feel like you, uh, we can cast the scrying and we just cast the Oblivion Stone. Okay. Oh, Worst case scenario, they have a Coligan's command again, yeah. and we still have any any land gives us Ugin, and we still have Karn as well. So. I'm still saying take take the. Uh, I, I I mean I like Sanctum. I agree. I think Sanctum here is fun. I know that. You know, we plan on blowing up this Blood Moon, and I mean Correct. we have lots of gas in our hand, but yep. still. I agree. We also have two towers, so we have enough. We have a, a lot, a large amount of mana. So. Yeah, so they, not, them not not being able to kill Blood um, Ostone here is pretty insane. So uh, now actually, because I think that actually put us so we have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we actually have enough to uh, cast the Karn floating the Sanctum and cast the Ugin. We can cast both, can't we? Oh, on the following turn. Oh no, on the following turn, yeah. So, we could also just so pop we'll Ostone and cast Ugin now. Well, the, if we yeah, if we pop Ostone here, we or can Karn. cast Karn now. I would think. No, maybe uh, not. Two, four, five. Get, have, I'm just saying we can double Karn. We can Karn and we get next turn, too. So yeah. We can do all the things. I think we're just playing a Planeswalker now. Sure. Oh, yeah. no, I know we're going to play a Planeswalker now. I was just trying to decide which one. Because, like, I'm saying if you want to double Karn next turn, I guess that's fine. But I was seeing if you had enough to Karn and Ugin. Do you know what I'm saying? Karn Ugin next turn? Yeah. yeah I meant eight. if we Karn this turn or if we Ugin this turn. We have, so, we have we can we can Karn and Ugin. We can do everything we want. Yes. So, so we can do either or here. We're also, right. also going to stack this, too. So I think we just... Uh, I think it was Ugin. I think Ugin. I, get, I like Ugin too. Because it's just, I mean. We're, we're, we're going to get Ulamog. Sure. Fun police here to make you. Ah, uh -huh. they're, they're complaining again. Opponent said. Tron Salt. We need a Tron Salt emote. <laughs> Can I add some uh, Jim D. Salt in chat, please? Jim D. Salt in chat, please. We did it. All right. So if you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. This out. Once again, I'm Jim. That's Nicole. Um, Nicole and I are going to regionals this weekend. And Nicole, uh, tell us about your magic career. On the spot, go. Yeah. I played for a month and a half when I was in high school. <laughs> I had a 7th edition, like, starter deck with a foil thorn elemental, which apparently is the same time that Jim started playing. It's actually exactly. I had it's the, the exact same exact starter, same starter deck, kit. Which is really funny. Yep. The difference is I, the people I was playing with, like, I didn't actually go to any stores or anything like that. I, like, played at my... Some people in my theater club and my church group played Magic, like the crossover. We were in the same, like, groups and... All right, time. Oh, no. And, and please. Uh, no waka waka here. We're practicing. Keep. I agree. It's not great, but opponent mulligans, and yeah. we got to keep. So, continue. Chompy Star Stirrings. 
I like it. Works for me. Yes, I agree. Just so tell yeah. them tell them about your actual career. <laughs> oh, playing like Adam. actually, what I've done, I yeah. I day tuned an Invitational once. Yep. My first Invitational. I've only played in t two. Um, I've top aided like. Oh, you played in two Invitationals? Yeah. There's one. I think I played in two. Sweet. I've top aided like. Know, here's here's like Nicole's seven, resume. You ready? Like Here it seven is. Seven or eight IQs. Hey, so back in the day when um, I was traveling for to a lot of IQs with Dan and Andrew trying to get to the, the Players Championship, Nicole used to come a lot. Yeah. So she has like I don't know seven or eight IQ, IQ top eights. I don't think they're all here. We actually. No, there is one that's missing. This yes. one we actually drew in the top eight together we, in round seven. We did. It was the last. It was so cute. It was. Cool. There were a lot of people there. Yeah, it was, was a big tournament. Yep. And that I was a super. Like, it was an elite IQ. I just like. XO2 yeah, so or whatever. I, I double drew into into top eight and it was pretty cool. Lost the finals of an IQ at this deck. Yes, that was terrible. You yeah. were away and I was sad. Yeah, Nicole was and I, I didn't split because I thought Jim would be disappointed if I did. <laughs> Seriously. That's the only reason I did. I, well, I, I was like, ah, nah, I can't. Like my first IQ finals, I'm like, I can't split. I, you know, I need to do it. Uh, is this... Um, Infect or whatever, or elves maybe, or something. So, those are the two decks that play this card. Uh huh. Our opponent mulliganed. How do we know it's not elves? What could. See, I'm right. Elves are infect. I sort of pay attention sometimes. I, but how do we know it's not elves? Because they haven't played anything and they have two lands in play. Exactly. The elves is like all one drops. Like there is no way they would have kept a hand without correct. a one drop or, or is it possible to not have right. a two drop? So you correct. So you, you, you stirrings here, I think. And then, oh, well, obviously you stirrings here. Oh, let's see what, see what we got. I think we're getting spell pierced. Are we getting spell pierced? I think so. Okay, so now now it's assured, yes, obviously, assuredly in fact. In fact. Okay. Yeah, so we play mine, play other star, and say go. Yep. Not a great matchup, honestly, but our no, opponent, our opponent hasn't played an infect creature yet. So. Which is good. It's okay, we got this. But yeah, so Nicole used to play a lot a few years ago, and yeah. in the last like when, two or three when years. When was on like the grind, but when he was on the local grind, like I could go with him more when we were playing like IQs within a half hour of us and stuff, and just uh, since, you know... Yeah, day, basically down. day trips. Yeah, J now Jim's, you know, like, because the the thing was like, do I want to fly to this open in Minneapolis and, you know, hopefully get, you know, six open points or whatever, or ten open points, or I can stay home and try to win this IQ that the top prize is five points or whatever, so you would just stay home and grind IQs. All right, so now what? Um, I mean, the map is actually very tempting. Like, just play a map, play, like, a Sanctum. I think that's, that, that, that's a mistake. Because because then we can O Stone blow it up next turn. Do you want to play map and then play Sanctum? Why is that a mistake? Um. So pop the star to play the map because it's already in play, so it's free. Like. Oh. Now we got a spell person into next year, and our, we can deduce our hand. Our opponent, our opponent obviously has no threats. Sure. So their hands either so pump reactive. spells or inter 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 interactive or spells. Or it's all lands. Um, so the question is, are we, are we popping the star or not? I think we can. I think we can start by popping star. Pop for green. Sylvan scry. Now what? I feel like I still want to play sanctum and play map, but is that not you pay two for it? So then we just. Do it on our turn, I guess, and we have five mana to work with then. Do what on our turn? Pop it if they make us spell pierce it or whatever, so we have to pay for it. What's the point? Like, in I mean, but the thing is, if you still Sylvan's crying here and you get spell pierced into next year, and we can't do that. Right, so what, what, what's the play? Uh, it's not Sanctum into map. I don't think we're playing Sanctum. I think we're just playing Bloom and Marsh. Yeah. I mean, Bloom Marsh comes in tapped. Yeah. Otherwise, do we have enough gas though? Like for that, is that okay? Worm coil and oblivion stone isn't there. Well, we maybe... currently we currently have nothing that triggers it anyway. I mean, don't we want like a ballista or something? Okay, sure. Uh, you know, oh, that's right. We don't have anything to trigger. Right. So sure, like, sure, also sure. we draw exactly Karn or Ugin next turn. Gotcha. And but then we this is I guess the I guess honestly you know what given the matchup the fact that damage choice doesn't matter at all and we have land our waste I, th I think that maybe your your play is higher upside so I think I agree. So play land first then then map then just say go. I see what you're saying. So, so yeah, typically like if we were looking to not because we know, can just slam the colored land next turn. If right, like in like taking damage doesn't matter at all in this matchup. So 
And this, this, is, this is the higher upside play. And a lot of a lot of Tron is just maximizing your high upside plays. Making sure you, you can just get the most lucky the most time. Thanks, Tommy. Yay. There's a lot of y'all in chat. If I'm missing you, what you're saying, you can always Hi. say it again. Or you can, Tommy, you can you. at me in chat. What do we... What is, do we care about that? Not really. <laughs> They're going in though. Oh, Here man. it comes. Here it comes. Are we gonna die? We're we gonna die? Yeah. Are they gonna kill us? I mean, it would be exceedingly difficult. Can they stack their penalty even triggers? Nope. Back in five Distortion <laughs> strike. Damn, they're getting filthy. Yeah, I know. Well, can they play another pencil haven and be like, you know, like so, and then in response to the trigger, no. Why can't, can't they? Because I guess the trigger has to resolve. It's not a trigger, because, it's an activation. Oh, it's an activation? It's an activated ability. Oh. They can't tap it in response to a trigger or whatever? Tap what's, what's, what, what does it say? The, the legendary thing. Oh, so it gets plus... Oh, okay. Sorry, okay. It's, 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 there's no way it can be a 1-1 one, one twice. There's no way you can stack it. Correct. There's, there's, there's no way it can be a 1-1 one, one twice. So. Sure. All right, so... Kind of get it. Power plant. Now what? <laughs> Yeah, they heard us say that damage doesn't matter. Hey, look, it's the, it's the barn you were talking about. Now what? Um, play power plant. And honestly, I mean, this spell pierce the only counter they spell they play really. Yeah. So so like we're okay either slamming worm coil or playing oblivion stone here. Yep. Um, I mean, I'm fine with worm coil. Like I think Oblivion Stone's fine too, but I think I think I think Carnage is better. Um, but oh, they don't have any blue though. Right. Sure. Sure. And you you sack the thing and get a. I said you need to tap that. Whatever. I mean, you're floating it, so whatever. But yes, matter. sack it and then get what? I think a ballista. No. Yeah, well, I agree. It's the yeah sure. I like ballista. And then what what are we doing with Karn? Is that battle candle? Um. I want a plus. Why plus over minus? Um, well, it's exiling a card from their hand, and we've determined, like, what their hand is probably either mostly reactive, they don't really have any sort of pump spells or anything to use. They have well, to they have definitely can pump spells. That's, uh, that's what I'm saying. They have to have pump spells to use, but they haven't had a creature to use it on yet. So their hand's probably... What happens... They also didn't play... A... No, they did. They played a Pendlehaven last turn. What happens if we minus on the so... arbor and kill it? Why, why isn't that good? Um... Your play is right and I'm doing it, but talk, talk to me why. Because... I won't get chat either. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. What can they do? So if you minus on the Dried Arbor, you exile the Dried Arbor. Oh, they have um, they have that, that, that Blessing card. Right. So Apostle's they, they, they Blessing? Have, well, What's that, it called? That one won't work. Oh, but, sure. What's but they have... Oh, um... They have Blossoming, blossoming def Defense. And, and Vine's the best I one. couldn't remember. Yes. So, sorry. So that, that's, a, that's just a very poor play. Spell. And then also, it goes to three, and they can just pump spell it and kill our Karn. Sure. So what did they exile here? They exile, they bind to the best one. Perfect. So the exact card we were talking about. So we could kill the blue land. I don't think that's really worth anything, because I don't think their blue spells matter that much. We're at the point now where the game's basically just over. They're going to have no hand. We're playing a Ballista. Ballista deals with, with everything, and it's because it's individual shots. They can't protect anything. Yeah, so they can so, like ping Ballista if they want to bind to the best, where you ping it again in response. Right. Okay. I get it. So, Karn goes to I'm eight. There. It just took me a minute to get there. And there's the Glistener Elf. Okay, so sure. now what? Well, I think we want to kill that Glistener Elf. So what do we do? Tell me what to do. Um. Tell me what to do. Why don't you just cast a huge Ballista? Okay. For five? I like huge Huge Ballista, ballista. now what? Uh, Ping the Glistener Elf right now. And the Dryer. For good measure. When do you want to interact with Infect, usually? On your own turn. Or when? Or F on the end, on their end step. Very good. So Nicole, Nicole remembers. Yeah. It's all in there. <laughs> so, some of it. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, so sideboarding. And if, if I can do well with this, you can see how good of a coach Jim is. So <laughs> it's, it's almost a coaching session, honestly. It is it's kind of a coaching session. Basically, I'm doing coaching. I'm going a little faster because I don't want to be dragging on too long. But all right, so sideboard. Take a look. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Plus Karn first. Got that. Um, so, Relics 
don't mean too much. I know that they have that one Delve spell that become immense, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's worth keeping in the relics for that. Um, I know that the, you know, the pushes are uh, like Oblivion Stone gets around any of those protection spells, right? It yep. doesn't make them indestructible, so yep. those are good. Um, I feel like World Breaker's not great here. Why not? Um, it exiles artifact, enchantment, or land. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what, what kind of lands are we interested in? Like, I guess they're what Ink the, Moth. Right, what are the, oh. those are the three threats, sure. right? So, so, and that's one of the ones that's harder for us to beat, I guess. So, mm -hmm. Ink Moth is good. Um, I feel like we need to kind of get the sh Like, they can beat us. You can kill on turn three easy with Infect. So, something like Ulamog, we probably wouldn't want. Well, let's look at the cards you're going to bring in. So, you have some. Oh, sure. Um... Ghost Quarter? Yep. Thoughtsies? <laughs> I think so. Um, I don't, the damage, you said damage doesn't matter. Uh, Thoughtsies comes in a lot of games where damage isn't really going to matter. Yeah. Too, I feel like. What else? We're on the clock here. Oh, sorry. Um, we want Collective Brutality maybe as an additional thing. And I, do we want Thragtus? I feel like we don't even want Thragtus. No, no Thragtus. Because we always bring in Therac Dust. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a like a claim or two. These are the cards for that, what? For for Nexus. Ah, oh, okay. So sure. these are cards I'm interested in. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna say we don't have time left. Sure, so, sure, sure. Just do so it. So Worm Coils are out because we don't really care, care about life. We're just, we're just gonna win the game by them not being able to win anymore for the most part. Yes. I agree, Ulamog can go. Ballista's Both great. Both Ulamogs or just one? one? Well, you just want to keep one. Sure. Um, Ugin and Karn make it really hard for them to win. World Breaker deals with the lands. O Stone's very good. Um. Fatal so push? we're not going to want these. Sure. I don't think you want all these brutalities either. Sure, um, so bringing in three is fine. Do we yeah. want the Thought Ceases? I think so. On the draw? Um, they're definitely worse than the draw, but I think they still interact in a meaningful way. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind a claim, but it's fine. We have, we have, we have, no, time, we have no time left. I feel like maybe the brutality is a little worse being two drop on the draw. Yeah, I mean, it's also the duress that helps, too, so... Um... This is the end. Yeah. Um... I don't know. It's two pieces, but it's got no no work, and we just could just die, I feel like. Could just die. No, we don't want the swamp. On the draw? This is, I, mean, I feel like it's closer on the draw. Am I wrong? I think we're probably keeping this. We're probably going to die on turn three. Sure. I mean, That's, like, it's, I mean, it's I mean, not a good matchup. We're on the draw. Like, our opponent has kept their hand, but, I mean... We can cast Karn on turn three pretty easily. Did we want the swamp? No. Okay. So we're going to keep... Somebody just yelled swamp in chat and made me nervous. Don't listen to chat ever. Chat doesn't know anything. I got yelled at. Chat is dumb. I dumb. Was, I was in chat all day today. Chat is dumb. D-U-M. Dumb. I love how Jim has all the eyebrows and Nicole has none. We'll make for cute kids. You know, Liz and I have had that discussion before. Uh, my friend Liz is a makeup artist. She has like an her license. She's an aesthetician, which is like skin care and everything from like the shoulders up. Like she does facials and she's good with. She works at a hair salon now. She's very like into the whole fashion thing. And I did a couple of like photo shoot. That must be nice. So <laughs> we still might be dead, but um, okay, just the matchup. You know? I feel like I feel like we crack for. Is it weird that I say we crack, crack for black since we already have our Tower. Oh, I like it. Okay. I agree. Sure. I like to play. <laughs> Not rewarded. Okay. Now what? Um, just play the other sphere. Play a mine. Correct. And then crack the sphere for black again. Thanks for following, everyone. So now we're only um, on thoughts these are push, but it's definitely our best out. But apparently, the swamp is yeah. The swamp is for field of ruin and other matchups like that where you need to find a basic. Anyway, in the 1930s, apparently, like eyebrows were a thing. And she, she was, so she was doing like a 1930s theme, like shoot. And she was like, Nicole, just so you know, in the thirties, like eyebrows. I was like, I, I don't have any eyebrows. She's going, she goes, you're going to, it was so weird looking at my, it looks really good in all the pictures, like in the black and whites and stuff like that. It's like, oh, it's we're dead. My, turn three. Told so, you. So, like I have some of them on my Facebook and stuff. It's when I was wearing that pretty white dress and stuff, but yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. Yep. Having eyebrows. So like I said, we were going to die in turn three. Yeah, you know. Because it is. I mean, we had turn three Karn. If their hand wasn't good, we, we had a good chance to win. Yeah. It's fine. I'm not really that worried about it. She has facials. Um, <laughs> all right, so. But yes. I think we're going to want. So eyebrows. 
I kind of want the the last brutality. I just want to cut something expensive. One day I'll have eyebrows. When we'll decide to do my makeup again. I can imagine you to cut the Yule Log. <laughs> Playing on the big screen in the store tonight. Shout out to R.I.W. Hobbies. R.I.W. Hobbies. Hey, you at table five. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, got a phone call. All right, well, I'll finish. I will be right back. I'll win without you. Will you? All right, so... Let's see here. Yeah, I got the old mug. Takes two smarties to play Tron. All right, now that Cole's out of here, we can win quickly too. His hands pretty bad. Um, Thrag Tusk is meh. And Swamp doesn't really matter. We're gonna mulligan his hand. They're not really doing much. His hand is better. Um. It's got a lot of our important card. We're going to keep this one. Caps or Golden Knights? Um, I'm rooting for Vegas all all playoffs. Um, but I honestly don't care who wins. I'd be happy with the Caps or the Golden Knights winning. Golden Knights are awesome. Um, OV deserves a cup. Just want to see a good seven-game series, and I'm sure it will be. Okay. Groundswell, Might, 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 Nexus, Nexus, Pendlehaven. Okay. Um, basically the most redundant hand of all time. It doesn't actually matter what we take, so we're taking Might. Yeah, I actually fell asleep during the game last night because I was super tired from uh, traveling. Um, my flight was at 7 a.m. on Monday, so... My hockey game wasn't actually canceled. Um, it just we have games. We have games every Tuesday night, so I stopped my stream, got in the car. Me and Nicole were halfway there, and I was like, "Usually the games are at eight, but I figured I would call my my uh, one of the guys on my team and make sure the game was actually at eight. And um, he's like, "Oh, actually, there's no game this week. It's a bye week, so no hockey. So awkward spot here. We never really want to cast Sylvan Scrying when we don't know what we're getting." I want to. I want to wait to draw either mine or power plant. We got to make a land drop next turn though, so it's kind of an awkward spot. Playing also playing Ballista on two is actually really insane. So we try to make our land drops for sure. We could just play Sphere and play it next turn. I think that's what we're gonna do. A lot of playing Tron just maximizing your outs. So I think both Jet Desk Guy and Pyromancer are good. Just play whatever you know. How do I feel about the Knights? Crisscross to clear of a Chris cross check to clear of a goal to score of a goal. I didn't see the game close enough. I, I fell asleep. So I thought it was fine. I, I saw the the thing about the um, the cross check. They said like if all the Reds had seen it, it wouldn't have been a goal and stuff like that. And I was like, ah, I right. thought it was fine. Oh, you're back now. Well, I, I have no idea what's happening. What's going on? This is their hand. It's Mighty Delcroza, Mighty Delcroza, Groundswell, Ink Moth. I don't know what Groundswell is. It's a bad bomb spell. It's supposed to be able to steal landfall. Plus four plus four. It's like the searing blaze of pump spells. Sure. What's up, Melvin? Um, they have no creature, though. Oh, they have the Yangmoth necklace. I'm sorry. That's why I wasn't paying attention. Obviously. Um. It's our third turn. We've not played land yet. Uh, so, crack sphere? For what? For, I guess, a, I guess a black. I guess it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter. I think green's fine. Whatever doesn't matter. It's a pretty interesting one. So now what do we do? Um, I mean the thing is with thought seas, we're gonna take anything that we were taken with like, um, I guess we like are, are, do we scrying for another blooming marsh and then thought seas them? Because whatever we're gonna take with brutality, we would take with thought seas. Do you know what I'm saying? Probably be scry we're scrying for a land. We're never casting Ugin, like, so. Yeah, but the, I mean, the, honestly, maybe we just like. It's real. I mean, it's real awkward. It is awkward. It's either that or we just brutality and discard. Like, I don't see. We don't want to discard. I guess we don't care about the life gain, so we're not discarding. So we're anything. basically dead in two turns here. Um, yes, and we need to get these things out of their hand. Someone's crying for ghost core. Do they have a second nexus in their hand? 
So, like, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, but that, that does buy you time. I don't mind that, honestly. I mean, we, 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 we just don't rate ourselves. Like, you can't, you can't do that. Um, I would love to cast Ballista on two. We gotta draw a land and do that. But we could just get a we could just get uh, a, a, a land of our wastes and cast Thoughtseize and just try and draw a land next turn. I don't think it's unreasonable. RWI Hobbies! Oh snap! Check out that store, RWI Hobbies. Hi Melvin! RWI Hobbies. In lieu of telling us your name and stuff, why don't you tell us uh, where your store is from, how long you've been in business, and uh, what's your favorite deck of all time, and name the puppy. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna play Scrying. I think we're just gonna get uh, a land of our wastes and play Thoughtseize. And look to hopefully play Ballista on two next turn. Even on one, it's not that bad. This is not ideal. They have run a spell pierce. And they have a breeding pool also. Ugh. So what do we take here? We have to take one of the pump spells. I agree. I mean, does it make a difference? Which one? Not really. Yeah, we have one marsh, two land or waste. Let's see if I had the Nexus. Sure. Probably gonna fire up and get in for five poison here with the might. Or groundswell. And then He'll probably do the ground swallow. And then we'll have like a, then we'll have a pool too, but. And then we'll have Ballista available. Ballista on two will not win us the game, but buy us an infinite amount of time. But if we don't draw a land, we're we're probably we're probably dead. Maybe I mean, we get to take their ground swell, hopefully, but we're in pretty big trouble. They drew mutagenic mutagen mutagen growth, cool. Sweet. So now we're actually dead to just the the thing. Okay, well. Kind of Sauron it. and Saruman. So now things get really interesting. They have Spell Pierce, Ground Swell. So they have to move first. It's pretty much what it is. Well, the thing is, like, we honestly can just sit here and pump Ballista for the rest of the game. Yes. And every time a Ballista is, has a counter on it, yes. it's one more thing they need to go through here. So... Because this is fine. We would just take the one here. I guess, alright, this, this is fine. So they're going to trade their, their Ink Ball next for our Ballista here. We're going to be dead next turn. So they pump, we have to shoot, they pump, we shoot again. Sure. And now they have a Nexus left over. Yes. And we might die of a Nexus. So we are that that growth was actually pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah. Well that's what I was saying. I'm like, it, it cause they can pump it twice. We have we have, no, we have no choice here. Our, our play is forced. So, yes. RWI Hobbies is the premier hobby store in the Detroit area. They host a variety of events on a daily basis. Opponent says dope. Uh, all can be found on their Facebook. They host quarterly Popper Two Ks that regularly bring a hundred plus people. Next one is they this just weekend. Let it die. That's a really weird play. I don't know why they would do that. You definitely cast Groundswell. Is Groundswell a sorcery? No, it's an instant. They're both they're both instants. You can cast this, you can guess that as an instant, like my my little Grosha. That was a very bizarre play. I'm not sure why they did that. I don't know, but opponent says dope. I don't know what the dough is for. They like, said it before I know. they let it resolve. Right. So it wasn't like they accidentally Correct. So I don't know what our opponent's doing. I don't know, but that's good for us. Yeah, but now we're in pretty good shape. So I mean, do we pump a list or do we take I think we have to. Well the thing is we're in a similar spot as we are as we were next last turn. Sure. Um because we'll lose our ballista if we just let it go this time. But then we'll kill their other we'll nexus, and we'll have nothing nexus. left. So. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. So pump ballista. Got it. Should we? We could. We could also get ghost quarter. Now might be a time to get ghost quarter. I think I, I agree with that. That's very true. So if we if we, we can retaliate and ghost quarter. So if we pump. Well, they they have a spell pierce. Oh sure. If we pump, the ballista, and they have a, a land, they can just do the same play they should have done last turn, but didn't. So. I don't know why they didn't do that. Do we know what they drew last turn? No. Do they have ground so they can swell, have some spell sort of pierce. Spell for their but it doesn't, it, doesn't make, it doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't get it. So. Ghost quartering. It's probably ghost quarter, I think. Um, we also could just like cast this brutality and get the spell pierce out of their hand. I'm not sure if that's really fair, but. Uh, C.W. McGraw, the st 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 what is it, Statler? Statler and Waldorf, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's, that's from Disney World, yes. Yes, Me and Nicole, from the Muppet thing at Disney World. Me and Nicole were that's at good. Disney World at the Muppet Show, and we saw that and laughed, and we were like, that'd be a funny follow gif. So. Huh. Huh. 
Sure. I think our opponent is playing very badly. I'm just going to throw that out there. Go square at the top. And we're going to do it right now because you don't want to get protection spelled. Yes. So. Well, they can't activate it to protect it anyway. Well, on, on their turn, on they can. Turn, they can. They can yeah. fire it up and protect it. So I'm just saying, like, right now. I was kind of, like, saying that as a mental note to myself. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, no, no, they right. have two cards left. They've got a ground swell and a mystery card. And once we're able to start pumping the ballista, we should be in pretty good shape. Very, very weird game we're playing here. Um, you, need to, you need to play very, very interactively against Infect um, because they're... Obviously, a deck that kills you on turn three. Tron's not a very interactive deck, so we're kind of playing this weird interactive game. We're not even trying to get Tron because we drew a Ballista. So. Yeah. I mean, eventually we'll just draw enough lands, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I think from, from this point forward, we were probably pumping Ballista every single turn. So, sure. do we attack here? Uh, why not? Why wouldn't we attack here? You tell me. Yeah, we attack. Here. What happens if we attack? Oh, they can get an arbor dryad. Right, and then block. Dry we could pump it and kill it in response to the thing, but that's kind of like Lame. stinky. I'd rather keep pumping ballistas, so. Sure. So we don't attack. Yes, they, they would trade their groundswell for my ballista if they had done the play the previous turn, which is a really good trade for them because they had a second nexus, so I don't know. So we're not going to attack. Oh. And I don't want to cast Scrying or, or Brutality. I just want to uh, pump up pump Ballista. Once Ballista has like three counters on it, I'll feel safe enough to... Maybe two. So they, they, they fetch a Breeding Pool. Well, that's, that's fine. I mean, I don't think they're, they're going like, to just fetch Dried Arbor for no reason. But. Sure. Well, Ugin's, Maybe there's dried Ugin's arbor like, like an hour down the road like uh, i was gonna say they either have to have another fetch land or something because i feel like the the point of them fetching there is it should take less damage sure sure okay we would really like draw a natural land so we can scrying for our sixth land and still activate ballista yeah. i think we're gonna scrying and, and duress this turn though because they obviously can't kill us so let's um Let's duress him. And then cast Sylvan's Grind for a land. Is the top one? Um, I think Overturf Wizard deck is pretty sweet. So they have Groundswell and Noble Hierarch, which they're not casting because so they have Ballista. So Ballista is like the truth. It is the truth. Yeah, it's not like the truth, it is the truth, correct? It is. Uh, Ballista will not attack this turn either. They have Dryad Arbor plus Pendlehaven. There's no point in attacking. We could, we could trade the one Ballista shot for the Pendlehaven, I mean for the Dryad Arbor. I'd rather just keep the counters in Ballista. It's not worth two damage. We're going to win this game eventually. Mine or Power Plant? Take one. Power Plant. No, mine. Take one. With confidence. I'm thinking. Which one has the better art? Um, bees or Robo thing. Three, two, bees. Bees. That's what I was going to pick, too. Let me just ship. No attack's fun. Remember that time you did a stream of the Dancing Bee? I did. It's on YouTube. Go check it out. Remember the time you did a stream with a dinosaur? Yep. That one's not on YouTube. What? <laughs> Pre-combat Dryad Arbor. Just in case you're wondering, before you attack, I want to let you know, I'm going to get a Dryad Arbor. Just throwing it out there. Got it. Done. Not the bees. You are the bees knees. You got it. Hold on. Take that two damage. We'll like it. So the good thing is this game is slowed down to a crawl, which heavily favors us. Because we have a lot of ways to find Tron in our deck. Once we find it, the game is over. So, Like right here. It's not bad. I mean... It's time to start killing stuff. You can push Pump Alyssa and kill the higher right, so we're gonna, so you Kill everything. Just kill everything. Um, Why not kill everything? No? We're going to hold the push. There's no reason to use push right now. But I want to kill everything. You are... 
We're gonna attack. You're gonna attack. You're a maniac. What if they have a pump spell and they just kill our ballista? I mean, opponents seems new to magic with their foil breeding pools and stuff. You know, like, I agree they're not playing great, but it is. They have foils and stuff, so they and that's probably an old, just that's an old inexperienced foils, or whatever. It? Yeah, it's an old foil with foils. It looks like vomit. It looks like someone vomited all over the magic card. Maybe this it is. Maybe they were using it when they're like <laughs> kitchen table magic, and, like their friends. I have a goblin king with vomit on it. Too many. What? I have a goblin king with vomit on it. First off, I didn't know that. I thought you were the Goblin King. And then... All right. It's not actually... Not actually a uh, vomit, but... It looks like vomit. So I used to call it the Vomit King. That was the Goblin King I played in my Goblin deck back in the day. Terramoto! Terramoto. Third sub of the stream. Terramoto, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. Nicole, explain the puppy thing. I'm getting a puppy. They even have a prestige avatar. You're you're right, Oli Diva. Prestige Avatar. What does that mean? And they've played a lot of leagues or whatever. Oh. Well, I'm getting a puppy. That's the explanation you're looking for, correct? So, Jim said, at a thousand subs, we can get a puppy. Jim, not a big fan of puppies. Like, not really his thing, not a dog person. John and I really want a puppy. We just bought a new home in October. We're moving there in six weeks. And, um... Thought it'd be really nice, you know, when we move in, have our nice little family, it would be nice to get a dog. Bork, bork, bork. The only way Jim would get on board, he said, if he gets a thousand subs, we can get a puppy. We're currently at, we're at 365. We were at like 410 about a week or two ago, but... But Jim got lazy and stopped streaming to go top eight a tournament in Minneapolis. Because that's his job or Meh. something. All these things are true. I was also just getting worried that we would actually get a puppy, so I just stopped streaming. Anytime we get close, Jim's going to be like, I got to go on a two-week hiatus. I got to take a break. Yeah. Bork, bork, bork. There have been 61 borks. All right, so they've drawn an ink bob nexus. They still have a ground sword? Terramoto. Another no. sub... Uh, puppy. Puppy sub trade. All right, you do, the, you, do the, you do the sub thing. Okay. Uh, Wait, which sub thing? The sub that answered? I don't know, just, do, just, just do everything. I thought I was... Just go do stuff. <gasps> magic is... Yep, I'm a full-time Magic player, right, so all Zilla. your subs pay my bills. Zilla. Zilla, the new sub. Zilla, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And what's our puppy name's gonna be? And uh, new sub Terramoto is Dino from Portugal, playing since Return to Ravnica time. Favorite card is Huntmaster of the Fells. Favorite deck, Green White Value Town or Modern Goblins. Have you checked out Fecundity Goblins? <laughs> I have been trying to make that work. He has been trying. What kind of puppy? We are going to rescue a puppy. I, I've like friended and followed all the the pounds and shelters and sanctuaries around South Carolina area. At least not all of them, I'm sure, but a bunch of them in our area, and I've been following them. I can't really like put in an application for any of the dogs yet because we're not at a thousand subs. I'm not going to preemptive like that. Yeah. But we are rescuing a dog. Um, bef I've owned a dog before. Um, I mean, I was 11 uh, when I got my dog Honeycomb and she was a rescue. She was a golden retriever chow mix and she was great and she lived to almost 17 years old. And rescue dogs are the way to go. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with pure, purebreds. Yeah, uh, my, my aunt has a cavalier. mud blood dogs. My aunt has a uh, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, um, and my brother and my sister-in-law just got their daughter, who just turned four. They got her a um, a Swedish Volhound, and so cute. Actually, the breeder's from Savannah, and it's great family dogs. You know, dog is great. It kind of looks like if you took a German Shepherd and a Corgi and you mushed them together. It's like a small dog, but it has the colorings of German Shepherd. It's so cute rescue shelters buying animals from mills i mean like it's I, I i don't know that they buy them from mills they usually take them from the mills i think but yes so and uh, someone asked if magic is my main source of income uh yes it is i'm a full-time magic player i'm from player. long island born and raised here I was talking. What did you say? I was listening. You don't have to listen. I'm just trying to talk. So, 
Yeah, so we're, we're both in, we're both in Long Island, moving, moving to South Carolina. Um, I'm a full-time Magic player. I play on Twitch here. Travel to events with Team BCW. Coach, uh, and I also do do articles on StarCityGames.com. So all your support is greatly appreciated because, hey, I mean, it's getting me in a call house. Massives are adorable. Why initiate with huge, the Ballista? Though. The one is free, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. You could have just taken the one, theoretically. But we, we have more interactions than they have cards. So I'm pretty fine just going to... Want to do Zilla too? Ah, oh, Zilla! Zilla playing since Kamigawa. But played for real at Return to Ravnica. Another Return to Ravnica. Favorite deck is Modern Jun or Green Black Snake from St. Pete, Florida. Don't have a dog name for us, so that's okay. We'll wait till we get a puppy and then the world's going to want to name him. The front runner for the puppy name is in our hand right now. <laughs> the Esteban, you've got it pretty right there. I mean, the thing is, like, Bri, there's, like, if, if you look, like, there's, I'm actually in, like, like, um, like, stray and feral rescue groups on, like, Facebook and stuff. Like, people that allow feral groups of, it's normally cats to, like, exist. Um, they, like, catch and release and, uh, uh, like, um, spay or neuter the cats and then, like, release them. But they, they do, there's a huge, like, fostering community and stuff with, like, puppies and things, like, and they do their best to shut down mills, and a lot of dogs that come out of mills have issues. Maybe an infect. So, we did it. That's dope. Those black cards, though. You did it. They're so great. They are so good. Black cards are awesome. So, yes. Yeah, so 1,000 subs, we get a puppy. Um, Karn is currently the front runner. That's correct. For the name. That's correct. Uh, so... Yeah, so we had, like I said, we were, we were four ten. We lost a bit. Um, a lot is that of Saint Pete, where where uh, Max lives. That is around. That's where Maximum Frank. Teets well, Zilla, lives. Zilla lives there too. Zilla lives in Max Teets town. Sweet Zilla, do you know Max Teets? <laughs> I don't uh, know if former, he's a... um, not like really professional magic player, but like I mean, dog wear pants. Teets has like four GP top eights, one invitational. DJ J. Good DJ, friend of mine. If it if it keeps him from pooping on the carpet, Jim will put pants on the dog. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, pants the dog up. What do I do? I'm actually I'm a bartender. She's lazy. I'm a lazy bartender. I haven't bartended in um, God, like five months. You've been now. Work for so long. Yeah. I know. I've been out of work forever. I fell at work. I hurt my ankle, pretty bad. I actually I'm unfortunately I'm going to court on Friday over it because of workman's to, comp issues and stuff. Out. We're about to crush someone's dream. They're four. <gasps> They're four now. Oh yeah. All right. Yes. Let's, let's, let's focus here. Stop, Keith. Yes, I, I saw I saw two I saw yes, two ma'am. Tron pieces and a map and I was just we're in. Lead on. Uh, power plant. And play. The map. It's so easy. So easy. Jace puppy name. I actually did like Thalia. I think that's oh, a cute girl puppy name. Oh, uh, there. That's dead. that's bad for us. No, no, we're gonna kill them. Karn. We're we're gonna draw Karn. Don't have an opponent. Forest. Come on. Clean Island. Oh, we got him. Yes. We got him. Okay. Thanks for following Stormcrow. Don't crack it. <laughs> don't don't forget. What am I getting? Sassy. Getting sassy is what you're getting. <laughs> they're, playing, they're playing Green Black Tron, too. Who has... They're smart like us. Who has the corn? We're moving to Okatee, South Carolina, corn? in between uh, Bluffton and uh, Beaufort. Now what? Um, cycle, Sphere, and Star. Just for for green, we don't care about... We can't cast anything off of black. Any, sir, stirrings. I'm, I'm just stirrings here. I'm not even... Cycling the star. Um, I'm playing. To, is it weird that I want to play Oblivion Stone? Yeah, it's really, really weird you don't play Oblivion Stone. I, I play Oblivion Stone. I would take the Oblivion Stone. Why not? What am I taking? You taking Ulamog? Oh, we got Ulamog next turn. Okay, I see it now. Stop it! Don't look at me like that. I was like, I We're didn't. Very see, lucky. I honestly didn't see the Ulamog. I you really could, didn't. You couldn't see it with the fancy little crown on no, it. No, that's probably why I didn't see it. Little weirdo. Holy. Thing I about her. I thought I literally thought it was like land, land, um, star. Everyone whatever. shout, LOL Mog. Stop, LOL Mog. Lolamog. <laughs> Ula dog. 
All right. Ooh, a dog. Ooh, a dog. Ooh, a dog, the Cecil's hunger. That kind of works. <laughs> they could go as quarters, I suppose, but... All right. Lolamog. I didn't see it. I promise. I can't see it. Look how big it is. All right. Yeah, now it's, it's big. Now it's big. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that was, that was very good for us. <gasps> it's so ridiculous. Lula dog. All right, so they, they got the ceaseless bark. They're playing a main deck ghost quarter, so they're gonna, they they get to ghost quarter us. Um, the funny thing is, I I did like I, the, one of my favorite things was that that um, Emmer cool the 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 slippers torn. Yeah. All right, so no no Lamont for us. They're playing a main deck ghost quarter, which I don't think is really right. Um, I don't play I don't play main deck ghost quarter. Thankfully, we have one more forest left. That would suck. Yeah. All right, so now we're. Uh, in a bind, they got a Ursa's Mind, so they have Tron possibly in two turns, and we are um, a little behind. The new legendary frame, eh, it's whatever, it's cool. See, I told you we should have taken a Oblivion Snow. I mean, look, Ozone's oh. terrible, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, sure. it doesn't do anything. Okay, sure. I was, I'm kidding. It was a joke, I'm sorry. It was a funny. bad joke. It wasn't funny. Ulamog's um. mad at you. They're a relic. Is Ulamog ever happy? Oh, Another mine. oh. That's doubles. That's a pair. That's a pair. What do you not want when you're playing Tron? Never pairs. Remembered. It's all about straights, not pairs. Yeah. Why did I tap? On mine. Our mine. All right, that'll that'll do. That'll play. Uh, that's eight. Mine, mine right? Mine. And? Play mine, slam Ugin? Yeah, it's just Ugin, I think. Upstairs. Upstairs and chat, please. It doesn't really matter. Like either they carn us next turn or they don't. So. Sure. And what are they gonna carn? I mean, land. And then sure. Can't and then and then we kill their Ugin, and then we kill their carn, don't we? That's true. That's what I'm saying. Like, so they can either do it to the Ugin, and then we Ulmog them, but they know about the Ulmog. Well, yeah, they have, they have, they, they, they have they to have hit a land. For they sure. have to hit a land. Uh, and then, or they leave the Ugin alive, and we just kill their car. When is GP, 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 bleh, 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 bleh. When is GP Pittsburgh? What was that? What was what? Was there a glitch in the matrix? Then you just shorted. <laughs> Short circuited. Jim will executed himself once. I did. <laughs> he was really proud of himself, too. It was cool. Tell him about it. You won! Oh, Alright, yeah. so it doesn't matter what we sideboard because we're on the draw now. So does not mean we lose? I mean, sure. It's the perfect hand, yes. Ghost, ghost court. Take out the relics, and we're bringing in ghost quarters, and fatal push. Well, we don't want relics either. We don't want some number of claims. Sure. Um. Oh, draw. we want thought seeds too. Yes. We don't want that many. We don't want that many claims, honestly. Well, we want. We don't want the relics. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, relics honestly are better than some other stuff sometimes. Like, I think relic might be better than O-Stone. But the thing is, we have to cut two things. Really? Like, what does O-Stone do? I don't know. Like, you're never going to get to O-Stone. Sure. Like, ever. Unless okay. you already have Tron. And you're... Sure, what are you crush my O-Stone dreams. Right. That's cool. I think you just ship those. I almost want the Obviously, third relic. Obviously, my opponent's 4-0, by the way. Because they're playing the best deck. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I haven't seen a Tron deck with a loss yet. Um, Hockey game I think I should just cut this. Cancelled. Put, I, putting it... Putting in relic seems weird, but Jim like canceled it on himself. But like it just cycles. We're just trying to find our good cards. Jim actually didn't have a game tonight, so we found out when we were on the road to said game. Yeah. Game. Usually have a game every Tuesday night. Jim had a hockey game tonight. Yeah. He got me. I put my brace on and everything. I'm like, all right, I got out of the house. Can I play GPS and PTS? Or if you're in SCG, I can't. I can. I just mostly play on the SG circuit, so I very rarely play in tournaments that would actually qualify me for a pro tour. Um. I played in Pro Tour Dublin like a year or two ago. It was last year, right? It was last February, yeah. Yeah, which was a Pro Tour 8th Over revolt. my birthday. Yeah, Miss, Miss Nicole's birthday for it. He did. Um, because I, I won a random PPDQ, but for the most part, I just don't play in events that would qualify me. I uh, played in Pro Tours all in the late 2000s, like 06 to 09. Played in most of them. But, um, yeah, it's like a Tash. He'll probably be at the whole Invitational yep. Top 8. Sure. Calling shots. But, um, but yeah, so... I think SG if you're has much better EVs. if you're looking to make money as a Magic player and make it your living, playing the SG Tour makes much more sense than playing the uh, the GP circuit. GPs are, are abysmal value, and Pro Tours are super awesome. But 
They're difficult to qualify for and stay on anyway. Italian he, ice or sherbet? Whoa! I thought it was quads for a second. I thought it was quads too. It's close. Keep rolling. It's just like... <laughs> uh, this is another mullet, and it's pretty, pretty awful. Opponent has also mulligan to six. Italian ices are sherbet, sherbet. Yeah, yeah. Basically, if you want to play in the Pro Tour or GPS and make money playing Magic, you gotta be platinum. They kept six. And getting platinum is really, really hard. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I agree. I feel like if the hand just had a second limb, well, I guess we keep this. It's, it's a hand. They bottomed, so they mulligan to six and bottomed. Oh, uh, I, I feel like we topped that. I agree. Okay. Forest they started on. Platinum is from pro points. That's good. It's the number of pro points you have in a, in a, in a pro year. Um, I mean, is it weird that I kind of want to start by thought season them because I want to sell them scrying next turn? I'm sorry, what, 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 what do I do? What, what's going on? I mean, I guess they have nothing that they're going to play that we really want to take on turn one right now. Like, cause they didn't play a, a map or a whatever. We could take away their Sylvan Scrying, maybe, if they have one. Thought, see, I'm saying, is it weird that I want to play Lanoir Waste here? Because no, I agree. We're, 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 we're playing yeah. Waste for sure. You want a Stirrings? I feel like oh, we're Stirrings or Thought Seizing. That, that's I question. feel like we're Thought Seizing. No, nah, I was the equivalent of Silver for like three years. I always felt like a point or two short of gold. And that's why I gave up. Oh, I guess we're not Scrying next turn if we Thought Seize this turn. Because we want to, we want a stirrings before we scrying. Correct. Because that's, we want to see what we hit. That's right. That's that's the big piece in my mind. And they're already off of Tron on turn three. Well, the thing is, like, we if we thought these maybe, maybe they have scrying. They don't have stirrings, obviously. They could have scrying here. Sure, but they're I, still a turn behind. Yeah. And I, I feel like we'll still be able to get at least one thought seize down before. But I I think I want a thought seize here. Okay. Um, we also just have a draw step. We just draw sure. a tower draw or a mine. Yeah, we could draw. But drawing straight. Oh snap. Supa Mina. Thought sees. Thought not seer. Nature's claim. Sylvan's crying. Um, I, I think we take the scrying. Yep, I agree. They have a. I don't think it's that close. Yeah. Like uh, Supa Mina. New sub. Supa Mina, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you play Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Puppy name, please. Tronland. Hey, puppy. You are. It's just so easy. I don't understand why Adam's problem playing this deck. Un. Believable. Power play. Yes. And right, now we just need a payoff, which we'll get with our stirrings. Yep. It's great. Tommy's totally correct. So basically, if you want to make money playing Magic, and you're just like a, if you're just like a pro, like for for like three years or four years, I was a pro Magic player in the sense that I played in every pro tour. I walked away from that three years with about five thousand dollars in prize money and a bunch of free plane tickets. That's Cool. It's not making me a living. I was working at Office Max. Which decided to go back to school. So opponent drew thought. Uh, sorry, overgrown tomb, and they played it. No, they they, they, they stirring for it. Oh, they stirring for it. I was yeah. like, how do we know that? So they have thought not nature's claim. This is fine. We still have Tron. Yes, and they know we have Tron. <laughs> um. We'll take their thought not. Well, yeah, but it, I think if you, I think the way to be a pro Magic player is simply to be a good content producer, be a good player. And get your name out there that way, but it's more important to produce good content and stream and stuff. I so. feel like we, yeah, just take their thought not. Yes. Well, and I mean, the thing is, the whole time you were doing that, you were like working at, you know, a teacher as a teacher. I mean, you were going to school and stuff too. But so. <laughs> hmm. Well, we know what they drew. When I, when I was doing what? When you were um, on, like, grinding the Pro Tour. No, uh, I was working at Office Max. You were working at Office Max? I was Max. working retail. Ugh. That's a whiff. Yeah. I mean, at least, uh, uh, I don't know if I take the sphere or the relic here, actually. I guess you take the sphere because it really, it's, it's cheaper. Yep, I agree. Um, Super Mina is Nick playing on and off since 01. Favorite card? Isochron Scepter. That card is dope. That card is pretty cool. Nick, thanks for I, subbing. I appreciate that very much. Tower. Okay. Crackalackin'. I crack it for green, I think. I agree. We want to do more of our stuff. I mean, we're... What they're doing. So they have a World Breaker and a Nature's Claim, and they have no Tron, and we have Tron, and we're drawing, we're drawing to a Tron. For, I don't know. 
oh, do we want to back up any of our ships? Because the thing is, like, if they if they know we're getting a tower here, they're not going to destroy our tower. Correct. You know, so we take. I think we do sanctum. It's sanctum or ghost quarter. Oh, um, ghost, I like ghost quarter actually. Ghost quarter turns them off for a long time. I think is sanctum turns anything into an in, 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 in a world breaker, and. They need running Tron lands here. I mean, like, but that's the thing is we actually have to draw. And I feel like turning them off for a long time and, like, our draws to their draws, I think it, it's okay. better. Because we just want a, we want a big thing. If we have a big thing, I think the game's over. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I, I don't think... Um, I, I agree. Like, I feel like it's that win more thing at that point. All right, so they have Worldbreaker, Nature's Claim, Random Card. And we have a card. Well, this is not bad. Well, it, it would have been a lot better if we got the Sanctum Tribal sure. Lista. Sure, sorry. But, I, mean, it's not, I mean, it's just, it is what it is, but... I feel like that was the only thing in the. the my concern was Bliss is one of the few draws where it's not a game breaking land destruction spell. Um, they do have nature but it is a threat. Claim. Right, so they have, they have claim. I mean. I feel like that was like probably one of the worst payoffs that we had. Right. There. But I think, I think uh, on average, I think getting Ghost Quarter is probably better. So I'm a I agree. big fan of getting Sanctum normally, too. Like, so, like, we can cast Ballista here. Yeah. It doesn't, even, it, it doesn't even do anything. I think we just wait. We just say go. I'd rather draw a Sylvan Scrying next turn and then use Ballista. They already cast two, like. Okay. How do you feel about building a red devotion deck with Fanatic of Mogus and Chain Whirler? Probably not great. Right. I would say that um, Tom Ross and Todd Anderson have pretty similar career arcs to me. Uh, They played in the Pro Tour for a few years, played some GPs, kind of got eh, then played a lot of SCG stuff. It's just better value. Yes, I think Ross's Blue Moon deck's better than the regular one. Um, all right, so end step, nothing. So I'll build it if you pay him enough. It's true. I'll do anything for money. Okay, so now what? I mean, I'm casting Worm Coil. What do we do with, what do we do with this Ghost Quarter? What do you mean? Are we going to Ghost Quarter them? On their turn? When? On their draw step? Correct. You just know that because I pulled the stop down. That is not true. And hopefully they um they kill this. Oh, okay. They just played the power plant. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really matter. There's, there's, yeah. no, there's no information on a year, so. Ooh, they brought their swamp in. They did. Ha ha! Sauron and Saruman! Yes, very good. All right, so now hopefully we attack and they uh, nature's claim. Yes. And then we cast a big ballista. Yes. Cool. We have so we have seven. We have eight mana here. What, what do we do? Uh, I mean, because we haven't played a land yet, so we're cycling chromatic sphere first. Yep. Agree. 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 So Nicole, what's it gonna be like when you when you when you, when you win your regionals? What do you think? We can cast a. Uh, can't we? Three, four, five, six. Seven, yeah. This is great. That's even better than Ballista. So you want to do your victory speech like now for regionals, or do you want to want to wait till? Yeah, like... I just need you to pilot it for me. That's all. Oh, you're fine. Any idiot can play Tron. No pressure. <laughs> Any idiot can play Tron. Yeah. Uh, 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 no. They're still playing. Sound effects are great. They're still here. Couldn't you have just killed your opponent there? How? A ballista? Yeah, probably. <laughs> much more, much more than it was to just card them. <laughs> Why kill them? You're We're 3-0, Tron! <gasps> oh my god. Cole and I are the best. Yeah. Trinity, I do both. That's what I do. I just like when people don't like me. <laughs> oh, burn. Oh, Tron. Yep. Rude. That's most decks in modern, though, honestly. Oh, Bogles. Ah, right. oh, Eldrazi Tron. Ah, oh, Ponza. Ah, oh, Ad Nauseam. Ah, oh, Storm. <laughs> now she's like right on it. Four matches in. Nicole's ready to go. She's back, back yeah, warmed I up mean, again. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this, it's a, it's, okay. Ah, uh, Lantern. I feel like we should have drawn that, and we'd be like, this. Mm -hmm. I'll take from your giggle. That's the keep. What do you think? Um, top. My top. Um, 
it's a turn one play, aren't we on the play? Oh no, we're not on the. Oh, oh, yeah, it's a turn one play. We're on the draw. We draw it. We play it. It cycles. We have a green for it. Like if we so we can draw further into our deck, and if we draw like an ancient stirrings or whatever. That's that's a, that's that's a card I wanted to hear from you. Yes. Oh, sure. I think that it's sort of like a cycle, right? It's like why not just like bottom it and draw a new card? Yeah. But anything that allows you to play green spells while also playing Tron lands is great. So. Okay, so the opponent's probably playing Death, Death Shadow. Shadow? Um, which See, are I was on it! Which are one coil engine trees is very, very good against. So is Natty Tron. Surprise. <laughs> good against Surprise. Multiple. Surprise! Thought Scour, big That's doofer. Big idiot. Big dumb So, idiot. as long as there's no Thought Seize next turn. Worm Coil will likely win the game by itself. No. Um, you still cycle it for a green? I think so. Um. Just play mind playing map. I agree. So the important thing you note here is our opponent doesn't know we have Tron yet. So they, they're very likely to like Cole against Command and kill this map. You know, we almost want them. Exactly. It's a pretty juicy target. So by giving them, the, giving them the option to do this, we're setting them up for failure, which is nice. So it looks like dumb from our point of view. Like, well, we put the map into their thing, but we don't actually need that. Hence, they're not even bait. Doing it. Not even doing it. Get it? They're not biting. Ooh, yeah. That's uh. That's a whiff. That's, uh, yeah, sorry. That's not that one. I mean, the thing is... Oh, like, ah! that's a concession. <laughs> oh, that's a concession. <laughs> Tell John we didn't even have to play Ugin that time to have him scoop. Wow. Yeah, John loves it. John watches me play sometimes. And he's like, whenever you play Ugin, they scoop. <laughs> John's our seven-year-old. Um, so, okay, sideboarding. Oh. Um, I'm drawing a natural Tron, right? Why don't, you, why don't you do some work? I mean, I feel like Fatal Pushers aren't great here. They only kill... Um... Let's do in before out. So. Oh, sorry. In. Um... Thrag Tusk is in. Oh, uh, roller, roller hockey. I kind of want to bring in them. I don't know. Do we want another relic? I think. I like relic. Uh, what do they play? Is it Grixis? Is there any reason that we would want our basic land or a ghost quarter? I don't think so. They play all non-basic lands, pretty much. So there's no like chance for blood moons or anything like that. I don't think we want brutalities, do we? No, we don't want brutalities. And I don't think we want thought ceases. I think that's fine. I don't think there's much we do. I think I agree. Um, these are the ones we want for sure. Now, the big question is, what are we, what are we boarding out? Um, I feel like the pushes aren't good. Just kills Death Shadow, right? Doesn't kill, what do they play? Like, Tastiker, Grimag Angler, uh, whatever. I mean, their threat base is basically four Death Shadow, four Angler. Sure. So, we, we don't want, I don't think we want pushes. Do we want pushes? All of them? Mm, at least two. Okay. Um, um we don't Shadow want, is we the don't card want, that kills us. We don't want Ugin. Why not Ugin? Uh... I feel like, because the, the, the plus doesn't kill any of their threats, and the minus only kills the Death Shadow, and you can kill an Angler, but you're putting it down to, like, one. It's just, like, there are other cards that I think are better, I guess. I agree. So we don't have much time left, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Oh, sure. We're going to one push. Ugin's correct. Also, so cutting a push. <laughs> also, Ugin is better, is, is bad against the card Stubborn Denial. Oh, sure. Specifically. So our non-creature threats are a little suspect. Um, I okay. actually might cut a car on the a draw car. also. Sure, I think that's fair then. Um, O-Stone's great because you can play two spells in one turn against a Stubborn Denial. Um, I think you want everything else. This is great. So. This is Tron 101 for everybody watching. You're all getting a coaching lesson. Yep. <laughs> Sideboard guide and everything. Yep. Tron shenanigans are pretty great. All right, talk to me. Uh... On the draw, um, I think it's not great. Stop crackling. Like I think it's fine. I don't think it's great. 
on the draw. I feel I feel like you can keep this, can't you? No. I think it's pretty close. It's not great, but we have star, we have draw step. Relic's pretty good as far as slowing them down. Yeah. Um, we're probably getting thought seized. We might be playing thought seized. I get to assume your best card is not in your hand. Yeah. Without the map, this hand definitely looks worse. Yes. Um, but thanks, Dan Sky. For those that don't know, like yeah, yeah, I came in fifth last weekend at SEG Minneapolis. Yay! Where I lost to a filthy Tron player. Filthy. Not any Tron. Well, Tron's a Tron. That's like an insult to Tron players. Um, Sand's pretty close. Yeah, I, that's what I mean. I thought it was close. I think it's a keep. You think it's a keep? Yeah, I think it's like really close to the line. I don't know if I would fault someone for mulliganing his hand, but I think the Relic buys us enough time. Um, <laughs> sure, 200 level courts. 101 is just draw natural Tron. They might take your Relic here, honestly. It's possible. After looking at your hand. Yeah. Okay. Tron. Peace. No. That's... Yeah, not a good draw. That is not so a good what? draw. You never want to draw. I feel like you won't. Um, I feel like we're still... St I feel like we start our map. Like, we, I think we can get our colored source from our forest later. And, like, I want to give us another chance to draw a Tron land next turn. Okay. So, I think without hand disruption in the mix, we'd be playing a star. Sure. Because we'd rather just cycle through star and see what we want to get before playing map. Yes. But the map is safer in play than it is in our hand. Yes. And this does allow us to get lucky and just draw a Tron land here and play, have Tron on turn three. So, I'm fine with map here. Um, Vel... Velik? I agree. Um, typically against discard decks, I'm usually more apt to keep than Mulligan. Just because Mulligan to five against a Thoughtseize deck is just, just abysmal. So, alright, there's your Shadow. It is a 1-1. One, one. Don't they know our hand? Didn't they see the blitz? Can they, like, Didn't they cycle the... They could cycle Street Wraith. That is, that is very possible. So, yeah. We'll get the benefit of the doubt here and, and not fire off Ballista on one. Um, so, what are we going to do? Um, I mean, there's a part of me that feels like... I mean, we don't know what we're going to search for yet, I guess, but as far as map. But they they can Culligan's command it next turn, I guess, if they want to blow it up. It's true. Like that would take their entire turn, but we only have one other land in hand right now. Uh, I think we just play the forests and say go. Forests and say go. You crack it now, or what do you do? I mean, like I think playing Star just cracking is reasonable. Sure. Just crack it for black and try and draw a land and another one drop. We have green. I mean, that's um, fine. I mean, they can just... Get, I mean, like, if they kill our map, we're in pretty bad shape, I feel like. We're in bad shape right now anyway, honestly. Sure, okay. I mean, like, we're, them... We're in bad shape, Got Them it. playing turn two Death Shadow on the play is... Hey, cookies! ...pretty rough. Um, yeah, I agree. Our, it's pretty likely our opponent has Wraith in their end. We're going to assume our opponent's not a total idiot. So... But I think I want to cycle here. If they have Cole against the they kill our map. to assume, Jim. It's true. We'll cycle. Um, we have four stirrings and two Fatal Pushes. But Stirrings is still great next turn. I'm just going to go for black. All right. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Not not a good land to draw. So no. I'm, we're probably in pretty big trouble this game. Yeah. That's okay. They didn't cycle anything. I mean, there's no reason to do it on our insta. You just do it on the, your turn. It's free. Sure. I... <laughs> Best bluffs are the ones you don't know you're making. <laughs> Pawn says, I, I didn't get punished for being an idiot. That's, that's hilarious. That's a pretty funny one. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> they sell, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I guess I did have it. <laughs> <laughs> they just just cycle a street race, so unless oh, God. you drew it, yeah, they uh, they, they just I mean maybe they drew it, maybe they didn't. I don't know. All right, so we're obviously just dead here. Um, they're gonna kill us next turn. Unfortunate. I mean, our hand was pretty bad. Their hand was really good. 
six twelve. I mean, like we died to to, to actual anything in the whole world. So I guess we'll just get a Tron land and play map and whatever. It just doesn't really matter. Sure, they can literally play a land. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta do actual anything. So again, turned forward by Death Shadow in the play. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed that. That's why I leave push in though, because this is the card that actually kills you really fast. Sure. So, Angler takes four oh, turns. I get it. Takes four turns to kill you. Sure. All right, so that's fine. Um, I enjoy that though. That's yeah. Pretty funny. That's pretty amusing. Um, do we want anything else? No, we're gonna leave it. Okay. Yeah, we'd like to play first. Thought scoured into the wraith. Oh, so would have thought scoured. Uh, whatever. Um. You have to mulligan this. Yeah. This is not great either. And on the play, I I don't think you can keep this either. Keep I, this I think we mulligan. have to keep this. You have to keep this? I mean, we have a scry. We have we have sphere. We have double worm coil, which will probably be our best card against them. I think we have to keep this end. Wow. Like, it doesn't feel good, but... Okay, sure. Top. So the story is on top. So now what do we do? Uh, Play... Urza's Tower and Got that part. Sure. I mean we have to sphere. Sphere? Yeah. Over map? Yeah. Yep. Because if they take the map, I mean well the thing is like we can't cast the strings that we're drawing external to sphere now. Yep. No thoughts these effects. I thought that was a trick question. <laughs> well, you got it right, so. Well, I mean, I was sitting here because I thought it was. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Anyway, we had a we had a dry land. Oh no, we get stubbed. Oh, oh no. god. I mean, I don't think we could ever not cast it there. We, we we have to cycle for a land anyway, so this is pretty shitty. Sure. It's a that's a bad way to go here. It's mulliganing into no. I mean, our hand last game, we maybe we should have mulliganed it. It was really bad. They had a really good hand. I probably would have mulliganed the six. Last game? This game. Oh. Uh, I think it's still a keep. Swiss rolls. Another. Like Swiss cake Zub. rolls? What? Like Swiss cake They turn to Death Shadow again? Oh my god. No. Yeah. That was blue. Yeah. Now it's black. All right. It's a I mean, one. Right. Whatever. That's a drag tusk. All right. Whatever. We're dead. We died. I think I think Shadow's like a, a, a favorable matchup overall, probably like sixty forty in our favor. But I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Trips. What are you gonna do? So new subs, Swiss rolls. What's your name? Where are you from? How long you play a Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? A puppy name, please. We're going into round five here of this Tron League with Nicole. Getting Nicole ready for regionals this weekend. Nicole has not played a serious Magic tournament since last year. If I top eight the regionals this weekend, can we get two puppies at a thousand subs? No. Can we get a puppy? What do you think is this a puppy factory? No, that's terrible. Well, Dan would know better. Dan, Dan's a Death Shadow player. Dan. Now Dan's what, here. What would you disagree with heavily? Because Jim's probably wrong. What is something you disagree with heavily? Probably the sixty forty in Tron's favor thing. Yeah. I mean, we can't get a kitty. I play the match with a good amount. Yeah, no kitties. Um, kitties eat gerbils. Wake up, Bernsey. They want to eat you. You think Shadow's favorite? I'll play for money, Dan. I'll play, I'll play, I'll play, play for money. Like, uh. You are such a degenerate. We'll play like. We play a set of like five matches for like 100 bucks. Do it on stream. What do you think? That's gambling. I didn't say that. Never mind. DCI is not watching. Sorry. Just kidding. I said play for money, I mean play for gummy bears. Gummy worms. I'm in. Gummy worms. Can't you not play for anything? Dan loves candy. I love candy too. You might play for gummy worms, right? Maybe you can't. I don't know. Whatever. I don't this never happened. Like Everyone go away. Try to have a good time. Back to the video. What video? I think Dan beat me on camera playing Grixis Death Shadow. I, I played bad though. If I just played good, I would have won. So it wasn't, it wasn't the deck, it was pilot error. Oh, thank All right, you. Swiss Rolls is Daniel Jersey. from Indiana. Favorite card is Search for Knowledge. Favorite deck is Mono Blue Tron. Puppy name Xerxes. Ooh, it's a cool name. Xerxes. All right, talk about this end. I keep. 
it's fine. It, it might be turn four Tron, I mean, but you can definitely cast Ugin on turn four. It, even if you have to play the forest at some point, like you turn four Tron. Ah, Bogles! Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, well, ho hopefully we're not dead before we can cast it. That's all. Could happen. Um, what are you casting? Uh, I'm still... This is actually hard. It's hard. Uh... I kind of want a star now. Yeah, it's definitely star. Why star over map? Um, star is free once it's in play. Nope. Uh, it can make the color without us needing to play the forest. Exactly. Your goal is to play Tron and Tron and Tron land. I don't want to play forest next turn. I don't have to. So we have two okay. shots at a Tron land now. All right, this is probably not a turn turn three kill or a turn four kill. So I hope not. Bang! That's why you do it. Tron is all about maximizing your draw steps. Get maximized. I feel like that's like a cheesy slogan from like some sort of like 1980s like workout video. Get maximized. Or like, All right, like we are definitely not dying on turn energy four. Energy drink or something like that. All right. Okay, sure. You're still alive. Corn. Nope. That's uh, a pretty good draw, though. That's not bad. All right. It's not bad. Um. Um. Let's play map. Let's go. Mind map. What? Mm -hmm. We're just casting. I think we're just casting Ugin next turn anyway. Like, yeah, I think not, Ugin's better than Ulamog. Yeah, we're not playing Ulamog, so it doesn't really matter. So now we, we can just Ugin get, kills everything. We can, Ulamog we can just get a Sanctum. <laughs> we can just get a Sanctum and yes. get a second Ulamog. It doesn't really matter. Like, once we cast uh, Ugin, they're actually going to concede. So. I, I almost feel like you don't know, like a, uh, a worm coil or something. I guess you should, you should get a different one, sure. It just doesn't matter. We're going to play Ugin, and they're going to concede the game. It's not going to... Literally, sure. nothing else matters. So. Sure. This is, this is a bad play. Just put on the Spirit Dancer and try and kill me, for God's sakes, you know? Like... They drew, like, a Thurial Armor, a Thurial Armor, like, Runner, Runner, and put them both in the Spirit Dancer, and might, I might be dead. It's 4, 8... Uh, that's, 10, that's 12, 13, 14... That's fifteen, yeah. It, if they if they put it on the, the spirit dancer on the Umbra, and they drew an earth armor, drew an armor, put it all on spirit dancer, we win. They win. They're not even spreading out their Umbras to play around um, Oblivion Stone. So. It's weird. Why? Yeah. I mean, not that it makes a difference. Nothing matters. Thanks. Odds our opponent concedes to Ugin. I'd say like six to five. Six to five? Yeah. I think it's like six to one. Six to one? Yeah. Six to five is lower than six to one. No, it's not. Six, six to five is close to one to one. It's a hair above one to one. You just said six to one. Yeah, like... As in six for every one. Right. I'm saying six for every five, which is just... Just above one. You're you're saying you're saying. I'm like, saying that for if if we okay. do this seven times, six think... times they concede. Yes. I was saying it was a really good chance that they concede. But how is six to five a better chance than six to one? You ever watch horse racing? No. I was right. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's right. Like I don't understand. A six to five is like basically like. Or one to oh, one. Oh, right, right. So you're saying, one you're, to one, that, that, instead that, of six that's, to one. That's not odds, that's payout. Sure. So a, a six to five payout is basically you're, you're getting you're getting almost one to one of your money because the odds are so good. You're saying payout, I'm saying odds. Oh. They're different. Like a, like a payout, like it's like a payout is, you know, eight to, eight, eight, eight to one on the horse, you get eight, you get eight dollars in your money, right? Yes. So that's, that's, that's a longer shot than six to five. This is a long shot. You get paid out more. Sure, like a five to one. Right, so you're looking at the payout. So, so the six to five is an actual thing. It's just a little more than one. It's like one point two. Right. So, like, if you're a heavy, heavy favorite, sure, you're six to five. So they barely pay you more than your bet because yeah. you're such a heavy favorite. So that's saying it's like it can be like three to five, where it's like. All right. It just yeah, whatever. She's saying ah, okay. uh, whatever. Math teacher, she's right. No, she's not. Yeah, it's still a number. Six to five is a number. It's one point two. Right, but that's not. Like, for example, the Vegas Golden Knights were 500 to Everybody. 1 to win the Stanley Cup, which is insanely long odds. Sure. Let's 
what sideboard? What? Get rid of what the are relics. they playing? Oh, uh, we're playing against uh, whatever. The All fools. Right. Get rid of that. Put some thought seizes in. Uh, cut some of the poopers. Like, I don't hate push because push kills Gaddick Teague. Yeah. I don't really need Ballista. I don't really need Ulamog either. And sure, cut one of the Ulamogs. We don't want thought seizes on the. Yeah, I don't. I don't, no, I don't want thought Never mind. We're good. You're gonna keep in both Ulamogs. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You're not gonna keep any of the thought seasons? I guess on the draw, they're worse. Which argue my own point? Am I not making sense? I don't understand. All right, you're actually I'm wrong. You're correct. I'm being an idiot. By saying that that they're six to one to concede, yes. I I'm saying that it's it, it's unlikely that they concede. When I what I meant to be I meant to be I meant to say it like six out of seven times they concede. Sure, I get what you're saying. So yeah, we we just had it backwards. So, so for every six times they concede, there's one time where they don't. Correct. That, that, what that's what saying. I was trying to say. I get what you're saying. So. I was doing odds as, yeah, like, I was, yes. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down now. Okay. I'm glad we're, like, on the same page. We did it. Yes. No one drop. Oh. Probably have, they probably have Gaddick Teague, so. We get this push, though. So, yeah, that's, that's what we were trying to do. So, I, I was thinking it more like, you know, like, 6 yeah, to 1 I mean, is, like, you know, or 5 to 1 is 20%. I guess we could. That's not, but still, it's, like, fine. Right? Why well, don't it be really funny? What? Ursus is mod. I said that. I said the wrong Oh, one. well, you know, whatever. I couldn't see it fast enough. <laughs> um, okay. I, that's still pretty good. So we're going to cast... I think we're going to cast Scrying now. Get our power plant. Set up for a turn four. Tronzies. What's up, Hex? You folks tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis, that's Nicole. My fiance, not girlfriend. No. I, almost say, I almost say girlfriend. Not wife yet either. Definitely not wife. Watch yourselves. But, um, and we're going to regionals we're, this Saturday. We're not mar getting married until I win enough money in HQ for us to get married. Sweet. <laughs> that's my new goal. We're not getting married. We're not getting married. Not ever. Nicole won HQ for me today. Not ever, ever, never. Um, so you expedition map, get a Lanoir waste here. Kill the, uh, uh, sorry, you, nature's claim the thing, get the map, and then Blanoir Waste, kill the Gaddick Teague. Oh, well, you can't do all that at the same time, I guess. Can't do that. But uh, you have to wait till next turn to be able to Correct. do that. But still pretty good. Yes. <laughs> and then the game's over. We're probably going to wait till their end step to cast anything, honestly. We're just going to play with this and say go. Yeah. I think that these Tron decks are much better than Eldrazi Tron. I'd only play Eldrazi Tron if you're, like, insanely you know lucky. what? Do they have any sort of protection spell thing? That mm, I don't think so. Goober, talk to us. You're the you're the Boggles expert. Or are you just getting upset because we're about to beat <laughs> Boggles, Goober? Goober's going down! When are you getting married for real? Probably never. It's too expensive. <laughs> it actually is. The, it was, it's been pretty ridiculous. The average wedding in the United States... The average wedding is $26,000, and we want to get married on Long Island. And Long Island is 10 times more expensive than anywhere else in the country. Okay, Goober's getting upset because we're going to win. Ha ha ha, take that, Goober. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, and we it, it's just, everything is just so much more expensive here. It's its actually insane. Makes me sad. Scoop skis? There's, like, a nice place where I'd, like, I would like to go get married, but it's just, like, for Saturday night, you need, to, you need to min, uh, invite 150 people, and it was, like, a base of, like, $23,000. And that doesn't count, like, a dress and... Uh, Art says, fiancé and I are planning to elope and take the money we'd spend at a wedding and go to, go to Tokyo. Sounds dope. Like, there's that, there's, a, there's an, a non-zero chance Nicole and I just get married at SCG Vegas this year. We might. We, we've actually discussed it. Like, it, like being like, hey, listen, we're going to Vegas. We're going to have, we'll have a great time. We can go to a Vegas Golden Knights game. You know, we can, we've never been to Vegas together. You've been to Vegas a couple times without me. Yep. But I would love to go to Vegas with you. I've only been once before. We just go Three games back. get married by like Picard or Batman or something and um, 
My thing was like, I'd want John to be there, I guess. And it's like, your dad wouldn't be there. And like, nobody would be there. That's the whole point of eloping. I know. Well, the thing (laughs) is like, it's like, because then you have people like that all hate you because of that. We four won. We did it. We did it. So we we beat everything but uh, Death Shadow. We had some awkward hands. Um, But yeah, so Tron's still great. Nicole's going to win the regionals playing Tron. Yes, I, 20k from the invitation would help a lot. Uh, that probably all go to our house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we all have a lot, a lot of bills to pay. We just bought a house. We're moving to South Carolina in about two months. I'm actually going straight down to, straight down to the house after the invitational. Get married by car. I'm going to live there for a few weeks. I'll be streaming from my new house pretty soon, which is kind of cool. So, um, but yeah, so deck's still great. I think playing black. I've always thought black was better than mono green. Peace out, you marry us? Married by E. Sully on stream. I mean, is he is he legally able to do that? I don't know. Can you do that? Um, but yeah, I think that I've always thought green black Tron was better than mono green anyway. And now with humans being popular and affinity being popular and everything being popular, I still think that's true. Um, so yeah, sweet. So that's Tron. That's gonna do it for us for the evening. Thanks so much for watching, um, Nicole. You want to call your shot right now? Sure, I would, Jim. I'm gonna I'm gonna win regionals. Yeah, I'm the best. Everyone else sucks. I'm a car them into next year. Get screwed, nerds! Wow, that's pretty aggressive, Toots. That's off the record, though. It's kind of a... Don't, don't yeah, publish geez, that anyway. Geez. All right, so if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow the channel. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure you follow the channel. And, of course, don't forget to follow me. Well, if you're watching on Twitch, you can also follow on YouTube. And if you're following on YouTube, why don't you hop over to Twitch and follow us there? Bork, bork, bork. Follow on Twitter, at JimDavisMTG. My goal for the year is 10,000 followers. We're not on pace. <laughs> um, also follow Nicole at Lady of the Crease. That's me. Yep. Guess what? I this looks like a, you. This looks like an abusive relationship. Yes, you should call... Um, uh, Are you, were you going to say PETA? Because Pita, I'm gonna, call, I'm P- say. call PETA for people. Um, <laughs> I should joke about that. It's not funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, well, I just thought you were going to say you, somebody be, should call PETA. Be, be good to each other out there. Seriously. Everybody be nice. It's not a funny thing to joke about. No, um, it's not. So, um, but yeah, check out Nicole's Twitter at, at Lady of the Crease. Um, and check out the YouTube. That's going to do it. I'll be on for a long stream on Friday doing Donation Bonus League and stuff. Hopefully I'll see you then. You can back out of the marriage thing. Wait, what? So, like, if Peace only marries us and he's actually not legally able to marry us, isn't that a way for us to, like, get out of the marriage in, like, 10 years or something? Like, you minutes. know what? Just wait longer. We should not get married. We should just not get married. It's true. But, all right, everyone, for watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Yes, and, be um, excellent to each other. That's yeah, a great thing. Basically, yes. So, and uh, hey, we'll see Stephanie. you guys next time.